Hello, now to solve this exponential problem and find all values of t that satisfy this equation is is t power 6 equals t minus 1 to the power of 6. I simply move this over here. I have t power 6 minus t minus 1 to the power of 6. This equals 0. You have power 6 here. You have power 6 here. I can express it as product of 3 and 2. I have t power 3 times 2 minus t minus 1 to the power of 3 times 2 and this equals 0. Now if you have a power n times n, this equals a power n to the power of m. Apply the identity right here and here. So what we are going to have will be this is t power 3 to the power of 2 minus this is t minus 1 to the power of 3 and this is to the power of 2 and this equals 0. So from here we have power 2 here, we have power 2 here, we have minus here. We can make use of difference of 2 squares if you have a power 2 minus b power 2 this equals a minus b times a plus b. And right now our a equals t power 3 and b equals t minus 1 to the power of 3. So let's insert them right here. We have a minus b, that is t power 3 minus t minus 1 to the power of 3 times a plus b. We have t power 3 plus t minus 1 to the power of 3 and this equals 0. So what we are going to do will be to equate each of these to zero before we expand. We have t power 3 minus t minus 1 to the power of 3 equals 0. We also have t power 3 plus t minus 1 to the power of 3 and this equals 0. Now we have our 3 here, we have our 3 here, we have minus. We are going to expand this using the following identity if you have a power 3 minus b power 3, this equals a minus b times a squared plus a b plus b power 2. And in this particular case here, if you have a power 3, this is plus. Now we need to take note that we have plus b power 3. This equals a plus b times a squared minus a b plus b power 2 and this equals 0. Remember this equals 0. So what we are going to do is we are going to make use of this identity to expand this. So let's start with this one here. What is my a? Right now my a equals t and b equals t minus 1 right so let's insert it right here a minus b will be t minus t minus 1 times a squared t power 2 plus a b t times t minus 1 then plus b squared t minus 1 to the power of 2 this equals 0. So right now you can multiply this out we simply have t this is minus t plus 1 multiply using this minus times this is t squared plus multiply this out this is t power 2 minus t plus you need to expand this this will give you t power 2 minus 2t two plus 1 if you expand this t minus 1 to the power of 2 and this equals 0 now I can still expand this for you if you don't know this simply means t minus 1 power 2 simply means t minus 1 times t minus 1 
And this will give you t power 2, t times t, t times negative 1, minus t, negative 1 times t, minus t, negative 1 times negative 1, plus 1. So this will give you t power 2, minus 2t, two plus 1. Just like what we have right here. So, let's cancel out some terms. Let's cancel this. We have 1 times t squared plus t squared, 2t squared plus t squared, 3t squared. Then we have minus t minus 2t minus 3t. Then we have only 1 plus 1 is equals 0. So from here, if you multiply this by 1, you have the same thing. 3t squared minus 3t plus 1 equals 0. So we are going to solve this using the formula method. So we write the formula in respect to t. We have t equals negative b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4 times e c. This is divided by this to a here. So this 3 here is my a, this negative 3 is my b, and this one is my c here. So I'm going to substitute these values for this particular thing right here. So what I'm going to do is I will simply insert these values right here. I have t equals this is negative b, so this is negative times negative 3 plus how minus square root of this is b squared, so this will give me negative 3 to the power of 2 minus 4 times a is 3 times c is 1. So this is divided by 2 times a, that is 3. All right, so from here, I can simply proceed. I have t equals this is 3 plus or minus square root of this is 9 minus 12. And this is divided by 6. So from here, I have t equals 3 plus or minus this is square root of negative 3. This is divided by 6. So from here, I have t equals 3 plus or minus. This minus here, I have square root of negative 1 times square root of 3 divided by 6. So from here, I have t equals 3 plus or minus square root of negative 1 here is i times square root of 3 divided by 6. So from here, what I can do is t equals this is 3 plus or minus i root 3 divided by 6. So from here, t can cancel itself once, cancel these two. So what I'm going to have t equals 1 plus or minus No, 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 I cannot divide this. I cannot divide this, so I will, this step is not needed. So we just stop it here. So I have t equals, this is 3 plus or minus i root 3 divided by 6. So I have two complex solutions right now. I have t1 equals 3 plus i root 3 divided by 6. Then I have t2 equals 3 minus i root 3 divided by 6. So those are the two complex solutions so far. Now let's go back and consider this other aspect of the equation, this one here. So we will solve this one again. Remember, our a equals t and b equals t minus 1. So we have a plus b, we have t plus t minus 1 times we have a squared, that is t power 2, then minus t times t minus 1, then we have plus b squared plus 
or b is t minus 1 to the power of 2 and this equals 0. So if you multiply this out, you are going to have t, this will give you t plus t minus 1. Then you have times this is t squared. Multiply this out using this negative. This is minus t squared plus 1 plus this. If you expand it, just like what we did earlier on, this is t power 2 minus 2t two plus 1. And everything equals 0. So from here, this is 2t minus 1 times this cancel this. This is t squared. Then we have minus, okay, this minus t would turn this negative 1 will be plus t. Have you seen that? So we have t, we have plus t. Then plus t minus 2t will give you negative 2t. So rather, this is negative 2t. Have you seen it? Because there's plus t here, minus 2t, that's negative. That's negative 1t. Sorry, not 2t. That's negative t or negative 1t. So you now have this is plus 1. And this equals 0. Have you seen that? So this is t minus 2t. We have minus t. Then we have plus 1. Please clarify that. So what we can do is to equate each of these to 0. We have 2t minus 1 equals 0. We have t squared minus t plus 1 equals 0. So let's solve this. This is very simple. For us to solve this, we simply move this negative 1 over here. We have 2t equals 1. We can solve for t by dividing this by 2. Dividing by 2, this cancel this. We have t equals 1 over 2. This is our t3. This is our first real solution. So we have this quadratic equation that we are going to solve for the other values of t. We have t equals negative b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac divided by 2 times a. 1 is the equation of t squared, that is my a. Negative 1 is the equation of t, that is my b. 1 is c. Of t equals negative times negative 1 plus or minus square root of b squared negative 1 power 2 minus 4 times 1 times 1 divided by 2 times 1. So from here, of t equal this is 1 plus or minus square root of this is 1 minus 4 divided by 2 times 1. That is 2. So from here, of t equals 1 plus or minus this is square root of negative 3 divided by 2. So from here, there's minus here. I can have t equals 1. Plus amount, this is square root of negative 1 times square root of 3 divided by 2. So from here, I have t equals 1 plus or minus. This is i. I have i times square root of 3 divided by 2. So from here, I have t equals 1 plus or minus i root 3 divided by 2. So we have two complex values for t. This is our t4. This equals 1 plus i root 3 divided by 2. Or you can have it as 1 over 2 times 1 plus i root 3. Then our t5. t5 equals 1 minus i root 3 divided by 2, which equals 1 over 2 times. 1 minus i root 3. We have five com four complex solutions and one real solution. Now, before I tell you why we are having five solutions in total, I need to let you know that we can easily check for our solution. Let's check using the real solution, which is t equals 1 over 2. So we have t power 6 equals t minus 1, 
to the power of 6. So I substitute 1 over 2 for t. I simply have 1 over 2 to the power of 6 equals 1 over 2 minus 1 to the power of 6. So from here, I have 1 over 2 to the power of 6 equals 1 over 2 minus 1. This is make it 1 over 2 to the power of 6. Now, when once you have a negative number raised to an even number, you are going to have positive. So this will give you 1 over 2 to the power of 6, and this equals 1 over 2 to the power of 6. This is positive. This is positive. So ladies and gentlemen, we have five different solutions. Why do we have five different solutions? Let me show you one. If you expand this, this is t power 6. Because if you expand this, you are going to have t power 6 also. So t power 6 here, cancel t power 6 here, you are going to be left with t power 5. That's why we are having five different solutions. Because t power 6 will cancel out. So that is it. Thank you and goodbye.